Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Paul, and this show I like to go over things that I am curious about and things that I've looked into, I like to share. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about preparing for both success and failure. This comes from a conversation that I had the other day, and I just wanted to share a little bit of what I was sharing in that conversation with you guys here today. And so what, I, what, what do I mean by this preparing for both success and failure? So the idea here is pick whatever industry that you're in and uh, or sport that you're in and assume you make it to the highest spot in that industry or in that sport. You ask yourself a simple question. What opportunities are going to come along if I'm at this spot uh, within this industry or sport? You can start listing the different opportunities, the different experiences, the different uh, all the different things that you could potentially foresee. And what you're going to do is ahead of time, according to whatever your values are, list out how you're going to respond to each of those events, each of those possible events that, that could happen. Uh, you could say, hey, I'm going to take these on. I want to do them. But for these other ones, uh, I'm going to set up certain parameters. So uh, I'm not going to do them. Maybe it's just a time waster. waster. Maybe it's not in alignment with my values. Uh, so I'm not going to do these. But these I'll accept. These I won't. But you've decided ahead of time uh, how you're going to respond to all the attention on you and you being a big shot and all that stuff going on. That is how to prepare for success within this idea. Now, on the other side, how to prepare for failure. This is one of those that you will never know your emotional state, including success too, but you'll never know your emotional state ahead of time on what you're going to respond to like with your failure, but you can uh, control ahead of time. Uh, how you're going to respond physically. So if you take a public loss or you fail publicly when you're at the top or you know, kind of you have some type of status, whatever, you can decide ahead of time what you're going to physically do after that moment happens. Let's say you, uh, I, I don't even know what an example would be, or I do, but you know, there's many different types of failures that you could have. Decide ahead of time that you're gonna get back in the ring and that you're gonna to continue to play. Or say, hey, if I do X, Y, Z thing, uh, maybe I'll just move on to a different industry and uh, kind of start again over there. But you have to decide for yourself. There's no right or wrong. And when I was having this conversation um, with this guy, I was trying to say, and not impose my values, I was trying to say, there is nothing right or wrong about this process. All I can say is that human beings were not necessarily meant to have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people follow them. And so something kind of happens to our psyche when, when we do get to that uh, point. And so preparing things ahead of time, when we're in this sober state, when we're in this calm state, we're not, when we're not in a, uh, in a state where our ego is inflated, it's probably a little bit better to do that than to decide something emotional in the moment, whether you are a big shot or whether you fail really, really bad, and then you just think you're the worst person ever. It's good to decide how you're going to respond to both success and failure ahead of time. So if you took something from this video, uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I would love to hear it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on just this idea in, uh, in general of preparing for success and failure. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one.